To create a purchase order, I need to go to purchases. I'm going to go by going to the accounts tab and purchases. Then from this new button, from the drop down, I can choose purchase order. And now I need to fill in the fields. But first, if I have any digital documents to attach to this purchase order, I can click on this icon of the paper with the turn corner turned down and I can upload a file directly to this purchase order or I can add a file that's already in my library. Now, my supplier is a supplier I've used before. So as I start typing the name, it pops up and I can select it. Then I can put in a date. If I tab through, I get today's date. Then I want it to be delivered in three days time. So I'm just going to put plus three in this delivery date. Zero takes the next sequential number for purchase orders. And then I have a free type box, but I'm not going to type anything in here. I'm going to leave that blank. And I can choose a theme from any of the themes we've set up in our settings. The default is standard and I'm going to leave it at that. Because this demo company that I'm using is a premium zero account, I have the option to create uh, other currencies, but I'm going to leave this. I haven't got any other currencies set up. I'm going to leave this at British pounds and the, the amounts I'm going to put in here under the unit price are going to be tax exclusive. I can select anything that I want from my inventory item list, but none of my stationary items, which is the purchase order I'm putting in, are on my inventory items. So I'm just going to type in the description boxes. So first on my list are boxes of pens. I want to order 10 boxes at £3. And when I use this information later on, when I've received my purchase invoice, I will want to code it to the printing and stationery code from the chart of account. So I'm just going to put that in here now because then I get my default VAT rate so that Zero can work out the VAT. This, the region is from my tracking options which I'm not using here um, because it's the main office. So the next thing I'm going to order is pr um, printer paper. So I'm going to order um, 20 packs at £5. Again to printing and stationery and this time I'm using the number. And the last thing I want to order are notebooks. So I'm going to order five notebooks at a pound each, again to printing and stationery. Oh, missed that. Printing and stationery, 461. At last we've got that in um, so then I've completed my purchase order so I can check everything's correct and the total will be 162 pounds if I move on down I have an address in here now this delivery address has been taken from the organization settings that I first put in when I set up this zero account now, if I don't want the items to be delivered to that address, I can choose something else. I can add a new address that I always want this supplier to deliver to, and then Zero will hold that address. I can add a one-off address just for this particular order, or I can search for my contacts and use an address that's in my contacts. So if I was ordering something on behalf of a client, I could search for their address and put the address in for this particular order so that it will be delivered directly to them. I'm leaving it at this postal address that I've already entered in. And if I want to put some delivery instructions in, I can do so. I can say, um, please leave, oh, leave outside the door or whichever 
you, whatever you want to say. I've got two buttons at the bottom. I've got a blue save and a green approve. If I save on the blue button, it will just be a draft purchase invoice, the purchase order, sorry. And if, um, so you could start purchase orders at the beginning of the month and you can just fill them in as you go along throughout the month so if you keep them in draft you know they're not complete and when you've finished the complete purchase order you can click on approve and then you know which ones you're working on and which ones are complete.